Hi guys, I went to see Krypta last night here in Prague. I was very excited about this concert. Their album Jesus Oro that came out in August, I think, last year was on my top 10 list of best albums of 2023. I love this band. I love their songwriting, the song structures, the sound, the singing, the whole thing. It's a great death metal band. So I wish that I would be sitting here and telling you that this was a 10 out of 10 experience. But the band yesterday fell victim to things that most of them, I think, were not within their own control. And as if I wasn't excited enough beforehand, then I had an interview with Fernanda Lira, the front woman from uh, Krypta, half an hour talk before the gig. So I was even more excited because she's a super nice woman. She had a lot of interesting stuff to say. Krypta are a Brazilian death metal band founded in Sao Paulo in 2019 by Fernanda Lira and the drummer Luana Dameto. And they had both been members of the thrash metal band Nervosa before. And they started this as a side project, but then it became a full thing. And the other two members are Tanya Bergamacci, who is on the guitars, and then Jessica Di Falci, who is a lead guitarist. So Krypta are on the European Shades of Sorrow tour 2024. It's like 40 gigs or something like that around Europe. And they are supported by two Danish death metal bands. One is called uh, Plague Maze and the other one is called Necker Knacker, which means neck breaker. And I will talk a little bit about those two bands after I finish off with uh, Krypta's performance. The first warning sign that I should have read into was that this gig was actually in a club that is not very usually or often used for those extreme bands here. And that told me, then I checked and, and yeah, it was a different promoter than the usual one. And there was not a lot of people when we showed up. We came just when the first band was starting and I told my friend, okay, this is weird. This should be a sold out show. And the sound was totally off for the first three songs. It was awful. There was feedback. It was uncomfortable both for the band and for the crowd. And to be very honest, I was very impressed with how they actually soldiered through it because I have seen bigger bands give up from something like this, but they kept on going. They kept on smiling. They obviously wanted to be there. They noticed this. Everybody noticed it. And it was awful. And it kind of killed the vibe in the first three songs. Then it got a little bit better. They found out somehow the, the sound engineer or something found out how what was causing this feedback. But the sound never really recovered after that. The guitars were not really audible somehow. The crowd liked it, you know, like the band and Fernando on stage was really, really engaging with them. And so there was good atmosphere with those people who were actually there. It's impossible not to get sucked into what she's doing up there. She actually told me in the interview a little bit about it. The stage is the most important yeah. thing to me. To yeah. me, it's it's my pleasure. It's my healer. It's It's where I feel free. It's where I I get more the most creative it's and it truly shines through she she just she i don't know she gets possessed somehow there it it she really loves being up there and she gets the crowd with her she's amazing the band was good actually and then the songs that i knew very well especially from the the latest album i knew where what to expect wh what i should be listening for but in the songs that i knew less then it became a little bit more muddy somehow and that was a pity they played 14 songs, 10 from the new album, 4 from the old album. There wasn't a big show going on. I mean, the, the club doesn't really offer that. The opening act, Play, uh, Plague Maze, they used the uh, LED lights that were in the ceiling. That was actually really cool. And I think that could have kind of enhanced Krypta's performance as well, if they would have used those, uh, taken advantage of those lights more. Because they have such a dark music, it kind of sucks you in. And I think it could have been even more immersive somehow with the, those lights being used. Yeah, the and the crowd was good. I mean, like, th they loved it and the band really got them going. So there's nothing wrong with that. But that just should have been more of them. And I I'm going to put that on the promoter because, you know, he should have, you know, filled this venue with a band of this statue. The merch was really cool. They had some T-shirts, patches, a lot of different stuff. I actually bought the, the vinyl here, like uh, the, the new album. Oh, sorry for the reflection. And yeah, it's like a cool thing here. Opens gatefold picture of the band and the songs and the lyrics and then the, yeah the songs on the back so that was really really cool so then it's the word it guys the pros of this concert is that the band was really good i mean they performed very well and these are really really skilled girls i mean there's just 
it's an amazing band, to be honest. The crowd engagement was just top notch. You know, you, you don't see a lot of bands do it like this. All the good songs were there. All the songs that I wanted to hear were there for sure. The negatives, there was just too few people. And as I said, that's for me, that's the promoter. And, and I talked to people before this gig that didn't even know that they were playing here. People that usually would go to gigs like this. Now, obviously, I'm the sound quality on Crypta, but I think there was some technical failure with that feedback that kind of meant that the mix had to be done differently. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. And my very informal undercover spy network has told me that in Poland and all the places where they've been playing and my friends have been, gone to see them, this has not been the case. Actually, the sound has been superb. So this is definitely a one-off. So I am going to give this concert 8.5 out of 10. If this would have been any other band than Crypta or a band that is not as good as Crypta, this would probably have been a seven. They really pulled it up because as I said, the sound quality was awful and it was a pity in that nice venue, big venue, not to have it filled. Now a little bit about the opening acts. Uh, the Plague, Plague Maze guys were fun. You know, that's uh, the front man is really good. He, he, he jokes with the crowds. It's kind of a beer drinking headbang fun band to watch. And then the second band, Necker Knacker, they're young but very promising. And some of their grooves, they make even an old guy like me start headbanging. And that's not an everyday thing. And I would be very happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, then you get more concert reviews, interviews, album reviews, a lot of views, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. And then I want to turn your attention to this video here about Hellripper, a band that I discovered last year and they played live here in Prague. So I did a concert review that's up here. And then down here, I did actually like uh, five best uh, female fronted metal bands last year and featuring Crypta and a lot of other interesting bands. So check that out here.